Psalm 119, verse 99. Mikol melamedai his kalti ki edotecha sichali. We begin here with from all, and then we get the participle, a PL participle here of lamad, plus a 1CS suffix on a plural. So if we see this lamad participle functioning as a substantive, then that PL participle becomes teachers, and the 1CS, the 1CS suffix becomes my teachers. And so we get here from all my teachers, I have gained insight or I have gained wisdom. Here we have a hifil perfect 1CS of the root sachal to gain understanding or prudence to gain insight. So we get from all my teachers, I have gained insight for your testimonies. The word here is a da in the dictionary, and we've made it plural, so you get the 2ms suffix with the plural yod there, and you also get the ot ending. Uh, so we have your testimonies, a meditation or a musing to me. Again, this lamed preposition, like in the previous one, is going to be belonging to me. So this would be a, a way of saying my meditation. So we get for your testimonies, this is a verbless clause, are my meditation. Your testimonies are my meditation. Now, the last little mark I want to talk about here is this little guy right here, this little uh, horizontal line over the Lamed. This is called a rafe. And what's going on here is oftentimes when a monosyllabic word follows uh, in this position, you'll get what's called a dagesh conjunctivum a dagesh conjunctivum, and all it's doing is running these two words together very closely, and it happens with a lamed quite often in a monosyllabic word. And what the rafe is doing is essentially telling you that it realizes that that should be there, but it's not. In other words, the rafe is telling you a dagesh should be there, but it is not. So the point of all of that is just simply to say, that these two words are joined very closely together. Sikhali, Sikhali, my meditation.